Hi there, this is Kirk Harnack in the Telos Nashville lab where I work and try to take care of Telos products and show folks how to use them and explain some of the technologies that we're using. Today we're going to look at the Telos HX6. That's a six-line uh, POTS or ISDN talk show system. And we'll look at its uh, baby brother, the IQ6, which really is about the same thing. They're almost identical twins. We'll look at that here in, uh, in just a minute. Explain how they work and how you can put them to work for your podcast, your radio station, your television station. And we'll talk briefly, just briefly, we won't go in deep detail, though, about configuring a Telos HX6 talk show system. Callers and content. Good callers equals compelling content. And what makes for good callers and for good calls? Well, obviously, you do a little call screening and try to get the, the good callers on the air. But you also want to have easy call management. You want to be able to get callers on the air and get them off the air easily and naturally. You want to have great caller audio, as good or as great as the phone system can possibly allow from wherever they're calling from. And you really want to have consistent audio levels and consistent equalization, maybe even auto-equalization, to keep callers one caller to the next sounding as similar as possible as far as audio quality and listenability. Now, you want to have callers at the ready so you can punch them up and go right to them during your talk show or making requests, uh, whatever kind of show that you're doing where you're involving callers. Multiple lines. How many lines is good? Well, for a lot of radio stations and TV stations and uh, podcasters, six lines is great. Most folks don't need more than six lines. Yeah, I realize there are some shows where they want to have 8, 10, even 12 phone lines or even more. But for the vast majority of broadcasters, having six phone lines works out just fine. You have callers ringing in, and you have callers who are ready on hold. Perhaps you want to call screen your callers and you know, make sure you know who they are, what they want to talk about, where they're calling from. Remind them to turn their radio down if they're listening that way. Uh, so you can have callers ready on hold. Well, the Telos uh, HX6 system is, uh, is really perfect in a lot of ways. It has two hybrids to give you perfect call conferencing. Now, maybe you're familiar with older phone systems, maybe even the Telos 1X6 or other phone systems where you may have several lines, but only one telephone hybrid built in. The hybrid is that thing that, that converts the, the calls to, to audio that your audio console can use. Well, um, it's possible to what we, what we call button mash more than one phone line into a hybrid, but you really don't want to do that if you can. You just, it, it doesn't sound as good as it could. And now we've got two telephone hybrids in a low-cost, multi-line talk show system. That's the HX6, and again, it's little brother, the IQ6. You can also have VIP guests, you know, maybe the mayor or uh, a medical expert or whomever you're interviewing, maybe a reporter in the field who your listener callers are going to be interacting with. Well, you can lock those VIP guests onto a hybrid and not stand a chance of accidentally taking uh, that person off the air while you're cycling through your listener callers. So it's great to be able to lock VIP guests on the air, no accidents, and it's also great to have audio processing for each caller, automatic gain control, automatic equalization control. And, you know, we use the word hybrid quite a bit. Let's talk about that for just a second, one slide worth anyway. What is a telephone hybrid? Well, a telephone hybrid is used in the public switch telephone network whenever there's an interface between two-wire and a four-wire circuit. Now, you know, your phone line you're probably familiar with is two wires. That's what a good old plain old POTS uh, telephone service is, two wires. But for broadcast, we need to convert that into four wires. We need a separate send path and a receive path. So a two-wire circuit has both speech, uh, a sp well, speech in both directions at the same time. Uh, and uh, we want to convert that. So here's a basic diagram of a telephone hybrid. The caller is out there in caller land, and uh, their audio comes in. It's, it's split up and then processed uh, through a telephone hybrid, and then comes out the caller output. And hopefully, all you hear out the caller output is the caller's voice. Well, what does the caller hear? Well, we need to send audio to the caller. Sometimes we call this mix-minus audio, but we want the caller to hear uh, everything but him or herself. We can't feed the caller back to the caller. That would be confusing for the caller. So we feed the caller everything but him or herself. And that's what goes through the top part of the hybrid diagram there uh, with the green arrows. So the caller's on a two-wire circuit. 
if they're at home, if they're on a cell phone, they're already on kind of a four-wire circuit. But that's what a telephone hybrid does. It also offers audio processing and some things to help eliminate any kind of feedback that's going on. There's some really secret sauce things that Telos does inside the telephone hybrid. So what is a talk show system? I mean, maybe you've, uh, maybe you've worked with one hybrid or two hybrids on a single phone line in, in a broadcast station. That's where I got started. We started out with uh, one telephone hybrid uh, to do a, a call-in, uh, you know, a kind of a tradio swap shop kind of show. And then we uh, added a second one. Well, a real talk show system would have multiple phone lines. It might have one or more hunt groups. So you don't have to give out, you know, six telephone numbers. You give out one telephone number for your callers to call in on. And then that, that one phone number turns into a hunt group. It rings multiple lines, one after another. You might also have a VIP line or a hotline uh, that are not part of that hunt group, but they're a special reserve line for you to call out or maybe for a VIP to call in. And then a talk show system is going to have one or more telephone hybrids, plus some controllers, some ways of controlling what line is on the air, and perhaps a way of call screening, picking up the phone and talking to the caller, finding out who they are, what they want to talk about, before you approve them to go on the, uh, on the air live. And you might want to have some software for uh, control and, and call screening. Uh, the Telos HX6 uh, is the one rack unit box there uh, shown on the screen. Um, you can uh, uh, have it controlled by one or more Telos VSET 6s. Now, VSET is that beautiful telephone with uh, uh, six phone lines and a color screen to give you very easy instant identification of the status of each phone line, including caller ID. You can see you know, what, who the caller is uh, uh, to a good degree. You can also busy out all the lines or drop all the lines. So those are some special keys involved there. There's even a button if you are on a profanity delay system. You can punch a button and, um, and instigate uh, the uh, profanity delay from the telephone itself just for convenience. Um, the Telos HX6 plus one or more VSET 6s gives you six lines. Those can be POTS, that's analog phone service. They can be ISDN lines, the digital phone service that's now being phased out. Or they can uh, actually connect to a voice over IP line, VoIP services, with an adapter. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. The HX6 and its little brother, the IQ6, both contain two Telos telephone hybrids. And these are our fifth generation design, the best we possibly know how to make. Uh, as far as audio quality, uh, echo cancellation, hearing the caller clearly, and having the caller hear you and your talent clearly. Plus, each hybrid has built-in Omnia caller audio processing. So the levels should be consistent. Caller to caller, callers should sound better than they ever have before for you. And for audio inputs and outputs, on the back of the HX6, you have analog, you have uh, an option of AES, and you have live wire in case you uh, have a, a broadcast facility that already has live wire or you're going to it. Here's a brief comparison of the, the difference between the Telos HX6 and the Telos IQ6. The HX6 is the top one. It's got full analog audio I.O. with AES being optional. It's a little daughter card that you uh, stick inside the box. You can order it that way or put it in yourself later on. Uh, it has full live wire I.O. built in. That's the live wire uh, Ethernet jack that you see there. That's the HX6. Now, the IQ6, well, you see, it's missing all that on the back. The IQ6 only has the telephone lines and the live wire interface and a power connector. So uh, if you're going to use the IQ6, which does cost less, costs a few hundred dollars less than the HX6, you need to have a live wire enabled facility. Maybe you've already got uh, an IQ console, a radius console, maybe an element console from Axia. Um, uh, then you can use the uh, IQ6, save a few hundred dollars, and get exactly the same performance otherwise. Uh, again, it's a lower price for AXA users who don't need analog or AES I.O. How do you control this phone system? Well, we've been talking about the VSET 6, this real pretty telephone with the color screen, six phone lines. Another way is with some software. Now, there is some free software included with every HX6 and IQ6. It's called X-Screen Lite from our friends at Broadcast Bionics in, in the UK. Uh, you can use this. You can use the light version. You can pay to upgrade to a, a more professional version. And um, uh, there are other software available out there as well that will control the HX6 and IQ6. But it does come free with X-Screen Lite. You can also control these uh, the HX6 or IQ6 with 
a built-in call controller feature uh, found on some uh, Axia consoles, like this uh, IQ console with the Telco expansion interface, uh, or you can control it with the controller that's part of uh, the, um, uh, the Axia Element console. Let's look at the back and see how we just hook up uh, an HX6, all right? Um, phone lines, well, you can use POTS lines. You know, these are available nearly everywhere. We've been using them for decades. They can be expensive, you know, especially business POTS phone lines. Um, hunting or rollover is done at the phone company, so you need to arrange that with the phone company. Maybe maybe you want four lines or five lines to do hunting or to, to be part of a hunt group, and maybe you want your, uh, your sixth line to be a, a VIP or a hotline. That's certainly doable. You can also use ISDN lines. You get great quality where ISDN is available. It can be expensive, too, and in some areas the price has really been going up. And hunting is also done by the telco. If you want to make a hunt group uh, or a rollover group, uh, that's uh, arranged by the phone company. You can also use uh, voice over IP. VoIP over SIP would be the proper name, SIP being the worldwide standard for VoIP. Uh, it's becoming widely available. It can be inexpensive. If you do a little shopping and go with, uh, with a major supplier or maybe add it on to what you're already using for your business phone system, it does require a bit of SIP knowledge to make it work. And there are all kinds of people, consultancies around that can help you do that. Uh, broadcast engineers can brush up on SIP by, uh, by looking through some books. Uh, SIP for dummies is a great one. That's one that I've got on my shelf. And a small adapter can let you use um, the HX6 with SIP right now. Uh, here's an example of one. There's a picture of it there. It's the, uh, uh, the Grandstream uh, product. Um, they make a whole line of, of uh, voice over IP products. I happen to be using this one. It's got a connection for your uh, network, your Ethernet connection, and four POTS ports. So it creates four POTS lines. And you can get these adapters in two lines, four lines, eight lines, 32 lines. You can get them in all different sizes. Uh, but this Grandstream one is particularly inexpensive. Let's uh, take another brief look at that. There's the Grandstream. Uh, again, I recommend using this if you want to uh, go ahead and use SIP services with your HX6. You just convert them to POTS, run a, a, a phone cable a couple of feet long you know, to the back of, of it, and, and you're done. Um, there's, a, there's another one made by Patton. It's a bit more, I guess you'd say, heavy-duty. Uh, it's a bit more robust. Uh, SIP is the VoIP standard. Now, services like Magic Jack and Vonage... You could use these as well, uh, but they're what I would call consumer voice over IP. Um, I'm not sure I'd recommend using those on the air because they tend to use uh, some either proprietary audio codecs or codecs that use a much lower bit rate than you want to use. Um, fully professional voice over IP is available even for small market broadcasters. Uh, you can uh, contract through providers like Windstream, Vitality, XO, CenturyLink, uh, and, and literally dozens and dozens of other providers of, of SIP. Not really trying to talk you into using SIP, but I think, I think you ought to take a look at it as being a, a real possibility uh, uh, for hooking up your, your phone calls. And you just use SIP with an ATA, an analog terminal adapter. This is what converts SIP into POTS, and it's very inexpensive, and you can do it right now. Um, if you want to use SIP directly without doing a conversion, um, then you can get the larger Telos system, the Telos VX, it uses SIP directly into the VX. No conversion to POTS or ISDN is necessary. Just plug that in, configure it, and you're good to go. So let's look at uh, connecting and configuring your HX6. You connect your audio and your phone lines to the HX6. You connect up uh, your VSET6 to control it. And you configure the VSET6 and the IQ6 to see each other. In other words, they, they have network addresses. Even if you only have one cable connecting the two, uh, they each get a network uh, address. And you tell the VSET6 where the HX6 is on the network. Again, even though it could be as little as one cable. And, um, and they talk to each other. Uh, then you configure the HX6 for your phone lines and for the, the show that you want to run. And then you take some phone calls. Let's look at this a little bit closer here. On the back of the HX6, there is an input for program on hold. So when you put the caller on hold, what do you want them to hear? This is where you plug that audio in. Oftentimes, it's your station program audio. Uh, it might be an off-air feed, a tuner feed, if you want that. But, but anyway, that's, that's where you plug the program on hold. Uh, these two jacks are where the caller 1 and the caller 2 outputs are. Um, these can be dual. In other words, you can have caller 1 on one jack, caller 2 on the other jack. Or you can mix them down to mono on one jack, 
if you like, if you want both callers to appear on the same audio output. Uh, that would let you use either one fader on your console or two faders if you'd prefer that. Then there's, then there's the send to the caller or mix minus from your console. Again, this can be single or dual. If your console, for example, may only provide one mix minus output, uh, we can take that one mix minus and we can conference it to both callers who may be on the air at the same time. Or if your console provides two separate mix minuses, you've got a bit more control that way. You can send two separate mix minuses uh, over to the HX6. Um, the way I've got mine configured right now, I have it configured for one mix minus, and uh, even if the callers are on two different hybrids, uh, they can hear each other just fine, and they can hear the program audio off the console, the, the mix minus bus as well. Also on the back of the HX6 are some GPIOs. That's short for General Purpose Input Output, or Contact closures. GPIO is the brief uh, word for contact, the abbreviation I guess we use for contact closures. These can give you uh, ring lamps if you need to know that something's ringing in, you get a closure here, uh, and for muting if you need to provide a mute signal for the phones, uh, like when your mic is on, you can send that in there and it'll mute the, mute the phones. Coming in over there on the left, uh, we have that's where you plug your phone lines in. That's probably the most complicated part there is plugging six phone lines in if you want to use six. Now, what about plugging in your Telos uh, VSET 6? Well, you could do it the, do this with one cable. Uh, okay, actually, it's two cables. The, the VSET 6 is powered by power over Ethernet. So this gives you 48 volts of uh, DC power over the same Ethernet cable. And the HX6 doesn't actually provide that. In the box with the VSET 6, we provide a power injector. So it's a little box that plugs in the wall, and you run your Ethernet cable from the uh, uh, HX6 into it, and then you run another cable from the output side of it over to the VSET 6. Bottom line is it passes the data through and just injects 48 volts to power the, uh, the VSET 6. Again, the VSET 6s all come with that uh, if you need to power them that way. But you can, a point here is you can hook up one VSET 6 to the um, HX6 with nothing else except that. Pretty much all comes in the box. If, however, you want more than one controller, that's possible too. Just add a power over Ethernet switch, for example. That's kind of convenient. You don't have to use the power injectors then. Uh, or you can use a regular switch and still power them with the power injectors. But here's how I have mine set up with the uh, a D-Link, or there's plenty of others, uh, PoE switch. So this is a little Ethernet switch that on some of the ports provides 48 volts of power to power things like security cameras, telephones, uh, any, any kind of accessory like that that's on your network. So you can just plug your uh, VSET 6s into that, and away you go. you got power and data on the same cable, and it's quite convenient. In this case, um, each of those VSET 6s will have a separate IP address. They'll be on the same network as the HX6, will have, which will have a different IP address as well from those others. And, of course, there's where you plug your power in. All right, you got any questions? Well, there's plenty of answers in the Telos HX6 User's Manual. Uh, you can get this uh, free uh, on our website. You don't have to sign up or give your email address. You can just go and click on the support button at telos-systems.com and click on support and go to the um, HX6 and download the manual. I think you're really going to like the HX6. I wish I had this when I was on the air as a disc jockey. Hey, TV stations can use these. Radio stations, whether you're talk format or music format, you can line your callers up, bam, 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 do contests, uh, put one caller after another on the air, and get just great uh, uh, interconnectivity with your callers. VIP lines, you can have a guest uh, on one line and take listener callers on the other lines. Uh, I really recommend this. And you're getting the best quality available with the HX6 now uh, and the IQ6, it's, it's little brother, um, and you're going to enjoy the way your callers sound. Hey, thanks for listening and watching. I appreciate it. We'll do another video later on about the details of configuring your HX6 or IQ6. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.